Good evening, my lovelies. I'm Lady McCreepster. Welcome to my realm. I'd first like to thank all of you for being such loyal little ghosts and ghouls, especially those of you who have been visiting my realm from the very beginning. Your support has always meant so much to me, and I do really appreciate it. I do love reading all your comments and know that even if I do not reply to each and every one of them, I do read them all. A special thanks to my dark family, both new and old, on Patreon.com for being so supportive. Your support really does mean the world to me. For those of you who would like to support this channel and have yet to join my dark family, go to patreon.com slash ladymacreepster for more information. Now, on with today's tale. This one is from Creepypasta Wikia and is simply called Cyber Entity. So come now, my dears. Lean in closer and we'll begin. It's a mere fact that electronics tend to distract us from the non-virtual world as we often find ourselves on fantastic adventures into cyberspace. I remember my dog once, looking for attention, sat in front of our TV just because that was the point of focus. Like my dog, there are entities that used to get much more attention before the cyber revolution. Now, these entities must evolve and find new mediums in which to contact us. I'm rather new to this whole creepypasta thing, but have always known that the virtual world reflects our own, and because there are dark corners of the real world, there are dark realms in the cyber world as well. I initially brushed off the idea of evil travelling throughout the cyberwaves. There were always explanations. Creepy fetishes, cynical absurdists looking for a good prank for the superstitious, plain weirdos lost in their own fantasies, etc. I'm not going to say that I met evil online, but rather I met something. It could be a prankster. Hell, it could be an alien. Or it really could be evil. I was fascinated by the stories of bizarre events surrounding Creepypasta, and instead of finishing, or even starting, my sociology paper, I spent a whole Sunday afternoon sifting through articles and pictures that frankly left me shitless many a time. I even came across a video here and there. Then I came to a video. Sadly, I didn't even notice the name. It was a webcam-like video, and the reason I didn't notice the title is because of who was on the screen. A hideous creature was manning the camera. It wasn't pale, but rather white, like powder void of colour. It had two sunken eyes and an elongated nose that, rather than protruding from its face, sank when I came to its lipless mouth. The creature had greasy black hair and made movements not like a human. Without moving its mouth, it let out a hoarse laugh. Its eyes bulged, and by far, it had been the creepiest thing I had seen that day. I quickly clicked on the next link I could find. I didn't care. The screen went white, or at least the browser did, as if it were loading the link. But then it was redirected, right back to that creature's webcam. Its laughter became much higher pitched and louder. I clicked the Wikipedia link again, but it redirected back to that damned webcam. I finally quit the browser, and it was, for the time, over. 
My heart raced but began to calm as I caught my breath. What was that? I continued on with my life, but every once in a while, that creature slipped back into my mind. I went back into my room, stared at my laptop, and gulped. I proceeded to open the browser and honestly got distracted and went to Facebook. Nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, wait. Except for half of my friends had had this creature as their profile pic. My girlfriends included. I called her and she checked her profile. Nothing was awry. I started to rationalize this. I doubted it was a demon. What would they do with a webcam? Don't they have some other creepy shit to do? I doubt it was an alien, but damn, that is really good makeup and who the hell does that much work? I knew what I had to do. I found that webcam and I just stared at the creature and it stared back. Its eyes were deep, black, full of malice. Excuse me, I said calmly. It made a short gasp and moved backwards ever so slightly. Its eyes widened a bit. Then it revealed a long black tongue. Can you leave me alone, please? I asked politely. It turned its head to the side and squinted. Well? I asked as I nervously gulped. The creature then took a deep breath and let out the most terrifying scream imaginable. No, scratch that. One cannot imagine how horrifying it was. It snarled, revealing crooked, sharp and differing sized teeth as it screamed. I jumped in my seat and turned off the volume, and yet the scream just got louder. I was afraid my neighbours would notice, so I decided to scream back. Shut up! I yelled, and there was silence. Thank you. Now, if there's something you want, I gulped, please tell me. The creature was silent. If you have nothing more to say, I had to think my next words wisely. Please leave me alone. You're quite terrifying. I am terrified. I'm not interested in being cursed and quite frankly, I love my life. Yes, it is difficult at times, but all in all, it's pretty awesome. I'd appreciate it if you'd go somewhere else now. If I need to be terrified, I know where to find you. The creature's eyes widened, and it approached the camera, as if it were to walk right through my screen. The screen went blank, and it was over. I no longer felt afraid, and time went on. Weeks later, now that the fear had subsided, I thought I'd look for the creature once more to see, with a clearer mind, who the culprit was. I could not find it, however. That was the end of it, I suppose. I guess it was a normal haunt that did just what my dog had done a few years earlier and just found attention. Have you had some strange, otherworldly encounters on the internet, my dears? If you're watching on YouTube, leave me a comment below and tell me about it. Otherwise, pop me a message on Facebook or Twitter. My handle is Lady McCreepster on both. If you have just stumbled upon my realm, welcome, my lovely. Feel free to have a look around and hit subscribe before you leave. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit that bell icon as well to be notified of new uploads. Thank you for joining me this evening, my dears. Till next time, sweet dreams.